Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> From Apu Island in the Philippines and welcome back to our channel. <laughs> We're um, a little bit hungover. We had a few drinks with the locals last night. Um, it was awesome. It was amazing. The power went out mid-drink. Everything went black and we loved it. And today we are off to Moabual. Moabual, yep. And Moabual is where all the, um, all the sardines are and you go snorkeling with like huge, huge amounts of sardines. So we're really looking forward to that. See you later, Apo. Bye. emotional leaving it's like I'm leaving behind a little piece of me at Apo Island it's just the most beautiful place it's like home back to the mainland from Apo Island um, and we're, yeah, we're, at we're yeah we're at Malatape Wharf and we're heading off to the main road to flag down a jeepney hopefully or oh, if bus. not a bus um, and take that back to Dumaguete and then from there on to Wawawal. The lady at Lippy Lodge said the buses run every half hour wait for a jeepney if we want, but it's probably more likely that we'll find a bus. We just changed buses at Dumaguete and now we've got on the bus to Mangiord and getting off at Tampe to get the ferry across to Bato to get another bus to Moabual. But first stop done, the bus to Dumaguete was only 30 pesos each. And it was a lot faster than a tricycle, so if you can get a bus to yeah. Malatapai Wharf or back to Dumaguete, I think it's probably a better idea than getting a taxi or a tricycle. Just got to Tem Tempe? Tempe. Sounds like Tempe. You gotta be quick. <laughs> here to Bato. Now we need to flag down a bus to Marlboro. The bus is the cheapest way to get to Marlboro, but this jeepney was already going there and into Panic Summer Beach. We have a cool one before. It's really, really cool. There's like mirrors and stuff in it and it's all decked out in the tree. <laughs> Lucky sevens. Lucky sevens. 
here we are at Tipolo Beach Resort. Yeah. Wow. Panic Summer Beach. Yes. Um, just checked in. It's lovely to be here. Um, being on Apo was just absolutely amazing, but having electricity, having a fan in the roof that we can put on, and air conditioning, that's that hum you can hear. It's just, it's quite a relief. It's really, really nice. We don't have the view that we had at Apo Island, um, but we are, we are beachfront. We walk out our door and we've got a nice little bamboo balcony there, and we can sit on that and just look at the water. Beers are cheaper here too, they're only 55 pesos a beer. Um, so I think that's gonna be gonna be the afternoon sort sorted. But first, it's lunchtime um, and we haven't eaten and it's um pushing pushing two o'clock now, so we'll eat and then we'll see how the afternoon goes. Let's have a look around Tipolo Beach Resort. <laughs> beautiful I actually wasn't expecting it to be this beautiful I booked it I booked it and I actually wasn't expecting it to be this beautiful either it's stunning isn't yeah. it and we're right on the water that's where the sardines are where just out there like yeah. actually? Yeah, apparently. Sardine run. Yeah. So there's just like sardines like everywhere and we can yeah, go snorkeling out there and swim through them and everything. Um, it's beautiful. Let's go have lunch and then I want to get in the water. just booked in a another introductory dive so that we can go out to the sardine run and dive with the sardines tomorrow so we're gonna do that tomorrow afternoon after we do Kawa Sun Falls we're just having a walk along the main beach front of Panag Sama Beach now which is nice planning on getting a scooter and going to a few different waterfalls and stuff around the place but now that we've booked in a dive after canyoneering tomorrow we're probably not going to do that. Hello. Uh, no, we're fine, thank you. Um, which means that it'll probably be El Nido before, before we get one, if we even get one there. Um, it is something I was looking forward to but I'd much, much rather go diving, diving yeah. with the sardines so can't wait for tomorrow yeah me too just as a tip if you need to get cash out which we do eve's kiosk lodge um in padding summer beach is the only place that we've found that has an atm so head there if you need money we just made a spur of the moment decision and got some snorkeling gear um, so we're off to drop our stuff back at the back at our room and then we're gonna run out into the water and do some snorkeling and see some sardines apparently the sardines are only 10 meters offshore you just walk out and you can see them so we'll go for a snorkel now and then I, I think the real special thing is going to be diving Hello. <laughs> gotta try to find some sardines Your legs are so sunburnt. Yes, I know. You're right. Yeah, I just fell over. 
over. Was that intentional? No. I fell over. Gracious. <laughs> so <laughs> do you wanna go bring my snorkel? Yeah, maybe it's different spots. Um, but it's really cool because you just step straight out from the sand into the water, into the water, into the water, and the coral and everything just start straight away. And um, then, like a few meters out from the shore. There's the reef-like shelf, and then that's where the sardines are. And it's awesome, and all this coral here and all the little fish here, um, just straight off the shore, are beautiful as well. I was just swimming out there through the sardines, and I saw something in the distance. And there was a beautiful, big, majestic turtle just cruising along. So that is the fifth turtle we've seen in three days. Oh, they're the most beautiful creatures and this is the most beautiful place on earth. <laughs> 